Y'all, it's been a day. Actually, it's been a rough past couple of days. So today I am out in nature, gonna do some car camping shenanigans, and I'm gonna unwind after a rough couple of months. So come along for some fun, cozy car camping footage and woodsy adventures. Don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello. A nice cold seltzer on a sunny 70 degree day. Can't beat that. It's key lime flavored. It's very nice. So I just got finished with my whole cancer scare the past five months. I was absolutely convinced that it was going to be cancer and everything was going to change and it was going to suck. And then when I found out the stuff in my neck was not cancerous, I felt this euphoria for a couple of days and I was all like inspired and I was like life is beautiful I'm so happy but I also had this feeling that that feeling was gonna go away and it did so we almost lost the apartment and now we owe someone money and we still are late on our rent but the next time me and my boyfriend were gonna get paid we were gonna be able to pay off some of the what we owe and then my boyfriend lost his job and then the next day I found out that my psychiatrist office closed. They did not give me a heads up. So I was like, how am I going to get my medication? So uh, it was just a couple of days of being extremely stressed out, not having enough of my one of my important medications that work, helps with my mental health and also helps me sleep. So I had, to, I had one pill left, so I had to split the pill in half. And yesterday was a rough day of making a million phone calls. And then finally I found someone who can, I, I was able to get my meds, but she, the nurse wasn't able to get a hold of the pharmacy where I get my meds. I had to go there in person and be like, hey, can you call this psychiatrist office, please? So they were like, oh, why don't you call and then hand us the phone, which I thought was kind of strange, but it got the job done, I got my meds, and everything was okay. After all that, man, do I need this time away. I'm at my usual spot where I hang out at my parents' house in the little spot in the woods, halfway down the driveway. It's a very nice day, it's the perfect day to do this. Only problem is it's really buggy. I doused myself in bug spray and hopefully that should help. Wasn't able to take my whole pill last night, so today has been a bit of a rough day for me mentally and I've had some inconveniences that got blown out of proportion for me because I'm dramatic and emotional. One of the things that happened was, for some reason when I turned my car on, the alarm went off and it's just like, ah, 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 and I'm frantically trying to figure out how to make it stop and I'm like about to start screaming and crying and some lady comes over and helps me out. She said the th same thing happened to her car. So if your car ever starts, like the alarm goes off and you don't know how to stop it, you have to put the key in from the outside and that did the trick. I was so relieved when it stopped because it went on for several minutes and I was starting to lose it. And then after that I was all like, I don't know if I want to drive, I'm a little bit frazzled. But then I did and everything turned out okay. Here I am and I'm ready to have some car camping fun and shenanigans. There's a realtor here. My parents are selling this place. Where am I going to go car camping when they sell this place? <laughs> So I gotta make the most of the time where they still have this and try to fit in as many adventures as possible. So before I can do anything fun, I have some social media work I need to do. <laughs> really don't feel like doing it. <laughs> I gotta get that bread. <laughs> so off I go. Now before I start on my work, there is something I wanna check. The last time I was here, I got some pieces of foam out of my tree house that I had used for my camper van. And they were kind of icky and buggy and I cleaned them off, I sanitized them, but I was worried that there were like icky things inside of them. I don't see any bugs. All right, and that's the bed. Here's my table. Once it is time for me to relax, I brought my hammock. Funny story about this thing. I accidentally packed my phone away into it. 
somehow it got rolled into the hammock and when we shoved the hammock in here my phone was oh harvey came out of the car hello harvey <laughs> my phone was in there and my boyfriend called my phone twice i could not find it i heard it ringing i was like where is it coming from i unpacked my entire backpack because i thought i had packed it into there and that thing was stuffed so oh god that was frustrating but anyway can't wait to set this up and do some big relaxing It's fine. I only have to do like an hour every day. I think I'm gonna let my feet breathe. <laughs> I'm so glad it's just about sandal season. I love letting my feet out. <sighs> nice. Another thing I want to do before I start working is my daily journaling. What's I just have a lot that I need to get out of my brain and onto the paper. <laughs> Uh, I definitely recommend journaling if you're struggling with mental health or you want to practice mindfulness. It's a really good way to like gather your thoughts and like when you're writing about your feelings at the same time you're also kind of coming up with solutions and it's just really it's really cathartic and it can actually help you solve some problems. So I have like a hundred journals. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get old. I don't want people to read my journals after I die. <laughs> I'm gonna have to lock them in a trunk and throw away the key. or. Maybe the key will be buried with me. <laughs> Secrets. Harvey, are you being such a good boy just chilling there? He is being such a good boy. He got to run around the yard and now he's just chilling. We love him. I'm too far away to boop the snoot. No! Look at these guys. We got some big hawks over here. I'm actually a little bit chilly, so I think I'm going to put on a sweater. If I can find it. I think I packed it. Uh oh, did I not pack my sweater? Oops, I think I forgot my sweater. But I have a denim jacket in the car. Oh no. It won't stay. Ah, perfect. Um, my legs are a little chilly. Now I could just put my sweatpants on, but I'm just going to use my blankie and cover my legs a little bit and that sounds nice. Nothing like drinking lukewarm beer in the woods while you work. <laughs> so I'm actually going to set up my hammock and I might finish up my work in the hammock. Then just hang out for a while, but uh, I'm starting to get hungry so I'll do something for dinner soon. Now I need to find the perfect spot. We need two trees that aren't too far away from each other. Now there's some trees over there that might work. I think this is the perfect spot. This is my first time setting it up on trees. I had it on my deck for a while, but this is even better. It has a bug screen, so I'm really excited that that's actually going to come in big handy. All right, how do we do this? I don't actually know like the proper way to tie these. I just kind of wing it and figure something out. You just I did this right, but it works. It stayed. I am very relaxed right now. Uh, there's a lot of those little buggies. I don't like that. Definitely gonna need that screen. Um. So I kind of, oh, there they are. That's what I need for the bug screen. Let's go.
long enough. I'm just going to wrap it around that. I'm so excited that this is my first time like getting to use the bug screen like actually out in nature. I'm kind of nervous though that I'm going to just like be that the thing on the outside is going to be covered in bugs and it's just going to feel really icky. Oh my god, my nose gets all itchy when I'm out in nature sometimes. Also, now I'm hot. Probably going to take off my jacket. I think I should spray bug spray all over this. in there. Collecting some rocks to make a fire pit. Ow! Oh no, my wrist hurts. Oh, I think I got dirt all over my shirt. my fire ring. There's the kindling I already collected. We've got a vast supply of kindling right here. <laughs> so much stuff to burn. This fire will be easy. small. This is a, but a wee fire pit. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't just use the bigger one. I guess I just wanted the satisfaction of creating my own fire pit. So I put out my campfire and now I'm having some cheese, having a little cheese break, sharing some string cheese with my boy, Harvey. And it is nighttime and I don't like nighttime because I start to get kind of sad and I feel like reality is starting to hit me again of just being back in my parents' house. I have fun but then I start to think about how, God, I don't want to live here again. I don't want to get evicted. Yeah, I know this video is titled Escaping Reality, but sometimes you can't escape reality. It was a good distraction hanging out around here, but 
What's that, that song? There it is again, that funny feeling. Yes, I can relate <laughs> to that Bo Burnham song. <sighs> anyway, my phone is dying and that makes me sad. And it takes so long for it to charge. I had it plugged in for almost an hour and a half and it got up to 40%. And really quickly it died, or it went back down again. So, so I'm gonna have to stop here for now. Um, just laying in my hammock and staring at the moon. It's hiding behind that one tree. But there it is. Thinking about sleeping in here tonight, but I don't know if I'm ready. It's gonna be kind of dark and spooky. Oh, I'd like to sleep in my car, but I'll probably chicken out and sleep in my bedroom in my parents' house. But we'll see. Maybe tonight's the night. But yeah, I'm you can't see me, but I'm really cozy. Snuggled up in my hammock. I'm in my sleeping bag. I could definitely sleep like this. It would be nice if I had someone with me. Because by myself, I think it would be too spooky. But, yeah, it's definitely cozy. You should try hammock camping, if that's your thing. Ready for bed, Harvey? You ready to go sleepies? I know I'm ready to go sleepies. I'm all set up in my sleeping bag. I put my car into sleeping mode. Uh, it's not the most comfortable, but I think I'll be able to manage. So, uh, there's not a whole lot of space, as you can probably tell. <laughs> but I'm super cozy, and I'm just winding down. Watching this documentary on Netflix about a couple who travel in a converted bus. Perfect thing for me to watch. Yeah, I'm beat. I'm just ready for it to be tomorrow, a brand new day with the sun shining again and full of energy and I'm gonna start my day stress-free. I'm already here. I don't have any long drives, nowhere to be. I'm probably gonna go to the creek tomorrow and maybe put on my mermaid tail and take some cool pictures. Actually, I forgot to bring a mermaid tail. I have one in my car, but it's like, kind of crappy like black plain homemade tail that I used for like Halloween stuff and I don't want to use it but I think I have some mermaid tails in my parents house from when I lived here and I used to make all these tails so I have a bunch so there will probably be mermaid shenanigans in this video so anyway I'm gonna have this granola bar and uh, get ready for bed okay yeah, I can't really sleep out in my car because I don't have any way to charge all my stuff. I would love to get a Jackery. Can't afford that and don't really have anything that charges it well. I have some things that are supposed to be able to charge, but it like works horribly. <sighs> my laptop also died. It was also kind of uncomfortable, so I'm going to try again some other time. But um, right now I just need to be comfortable because I am irritated because Harvey took off into the woods, it was dark, and I was wearing shoes, and I was carrying a bunch of stuff, and suddenly he's just gone. And he was not listening to me. Right, Harvey? You were being big naughty. He and eventually, after saying T-R-E-A-T -E enough times, he finally came over. Well, now I'm going to bed, so. I've awoken, and to continue my car camping fun, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to go drive to my spot. I have my bed still set up in the car. I think I'm just going to get cozy in there and, you know, drink my coffee, watch some TikToks and stuff as I like to do in the morning. Maybe I'll even lay in my hammock if it's not cold. It is like 9 o'clock, so it might be a little chilly, so... But honestly, I don't really want to get out of this bed right now. I'm just, like, comfy and it's chilly outside of the covers, but gonna do it. Here I go. Harvey, you wanna get up and go outside? Big yawn. He's a sleepy boy. Are you a sleepy boy? He's so good. <laughs> it's time to go to the WA. I got the good stuff. 
I am so ready to curl up in the back there and just enjoy this morning. Take it easy, relax, be cozy. I can tell already it's gonna be a very good day. Right, Harvey? Harvey, it's gonna be a good day. I'm sorry, are you all alone up there? Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, come on, come on, Harvey, come here. Come on, you wanna come over here? Okay, I'm actually a little bit chilly. Just to, where's my, I have another blanket in here. Where is that blanket? Everything's kind of messy right now. Still in bed mode, so this whole patch is full of stuff. Blanky! Blanky! Where are you? Oh, here's my lucky blanky. It's not really that warm, but it's comforting. It's cozy. I'm gonna drink my coffee. And brought a book with me. I think I might read that. So yeah. <laughs> I was starting to get sucked into my book and then I remembered that I didn't eat my breakfast or take my medication. I should probably do that first. My hash brown got a little bit cold and a little bit smushed. I think Harvey stepped on it. Still yummy. There's been some good bird action out there. engrossed in that book. It is a very good book that deals with um, addiction and it's got lots of drama and it's just written really beautifully. If you guys have ever read any Ellen Hopkins books, let me know which one is your favorite. It's just so easy to like read. Would you say binge reading is a thing? Yeah, so I'm actually getting really toasty and I think it's time to get out of the car, change out of my sweatpants into some shorts, do some stretches. Maybe I'll go sit in my hammock. Maybe I'll read in the hammock instead of in the car. <laughs> Reading. Uh, yeah, let's go do that. I just realized I have no idea where my shorts are. Oh, but I have a different pair of shorts that I know are in my backpack. So I'll just put those on. It's gonna be so nice today. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go to the creek. We're gonna put our feet in the water. It's gonna feel amazing. <sighs> it feels so good to be in a warm weather outfit. We've got my beachy button up, some comfy shorts. We love being in sandals. It's amazing. I love it. So it's time to clean up and turn this back into the little living room area so I can hang out there and do my work for the day. Look how ripped my blankie is. <laughs> so sad. Nothing creepy crawled out of this foam that I pulled out of my treehouse, so that's good. I was worried that there was gonna be like bugs living inside of it. Much better. I mean, it's messy over here, but the main part looks nice. All right, let's start my day. And we got my solar powered stuff charging in the sun. Harvey's chilling in the shade. Is that good, Harvey? So it's already pretty toasty and I'm starting to get a little worried that this isn't going to be as enjoyable. <laughs> I'm sure I'll still have fun outside, but it would be great if I had some shade. I guess I could always go hang out under my parents' porch. There's a, a big deck and underneath that is a nice little area with 
seats and there's like a little pond right next to it. It's very nice and peaceful. So I'll just have to go there when I get too toasty. I had to put my window cover back up to block the sun. <laughs> That's much better. We got window covers up, curtains closed. So we should be nice and cool in here in a little bit. Okay, before I start my work, I gotta put in some more movement, some stretches, and uh, wake myself up more. Did you find some good sticks, Harvey? Are those good sticks? <laughs> He likes to break sticks. Yeah, I should really be wearing some sunscreen. I should probably go get some. And it's time to get started on my work. Let's go. Uh, it's so toasty, I don't know if I can work like this. I just all I'm thinking about is going down to the creek and sitting in the water, or at least putting my feet in. But I gotta get my work done first. At least I would like to get that out of the way. That would be very nice. It's not like too hot that, you know, I don't think I have to worry about Harvey like having a stroke or anything. It's just a little, it's a little toasty, you know? Could I could turn the car on and, and run the air conditioning for a few minutes, but um, maybe I will do that. New plan. This is my office for today. Comfy, shady, beautiful view, just perfect. Phone is at 100%, and it is time to go to the creek. I'm prepared to get all ticky. Got my towel. I think first I'm gonna have something to eat because I'm a little hungry. Haven't eaten like almost all day. Good tortilla. That's a good tortilla. Lunchtime. I made another one. <laughs> Alright, I'm going on an adventure. Time to go down this steep slope. I didn't bring a mermaid tail, I just felt like I was going to get irritable trying to carry all my stuff, plus a mermaid tail, trekking through the heat. You know, I didn't really feel like doing a photo shoot, I'm already taking all these videos and stuff. So. No mermaid today, just human live. Oh no, it's all mucky. Icky. Oh, I hate mud. Definitely wouldn't want to fall in there. And uh, there's the creek. I'm so excited. I haven't been here in so long. Seriously, so long. Oh. Ow! Oh, I just walked in. I just walked into some plants. So beautiful. Well, I made it. Barely. I don't know if I would be a good backpacker. I get irritated by thorns and things in my way. Hey, you know, it's gonna be nice. I'm gonna stand in the water and just, yeah. I did get got by a thorn. But look at this. So beautiful. Oh, Harvey's swimming? Harvey! Oh, why'd you do that? I mean, he looks like he's having a good time, but he's gonna be all icky. Gonna have to give him a nice bath when we get back. Okay. Alright. I'm 
done. Ow. Ow. Oh god, oh god, ow. Oh, oh, oh. Why did I set up over here to leave my stuff over there? I don't want to walk on the ouchy rocks. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting kind of homesick. I kind of just want to be in my apartment with my boyfriend and our cats. <sighs> I leave tomorrow, so. Then tonight I hang out with a friend who I don't get to see very often, so I'm excited to do that. I'm just gonna try to relax here, enjoy the nice day, even though I'm like really toasty. Surprisingly, I haven't found any ticks on me yet. I'll do a good check when I get back. Anyway, I'm gonna put my phone down. I'm starting to not want to film stuff anymore. My adventure is over and I'm kind of tired. Even though it was fun for a while, you really can't outrun your problems. At the end of the day, I would start thinking about how we can't pay our rent and all that jazz. And so yeah, I'm on my way home now. Driving on the highway. Kind of in a bad mood today. <laughs> Not the greatest way to end this video. I got tired of filming yesterday, so pretty much after my trip to the creek. I kind of totally just forgot that I was even making that video. But basically the day ended with me hanging out with my best friend and we had a bonfire and our dogs played together. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure. I had fun with this video. I had fun doing all that stuff. I didn't even do everything that I had planned on doing. So I guess I'll save that for another video. Well, I hope you guys all have a magical day and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.